That didn't sound good. Oh, that is definitely not good. You're both awake. Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright or... Wow, how exhilarating. First one? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Barry, could you get the door? Of course. Hmm. Seems the door is blocked. And I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shovel whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll, uh, start looking for clues. She didn't bring her hammer. She totally did not bring her hammer. Go search over here. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. How much are you willing to bet Amy forgot her hammer? Because she could easily clear this. Babe? Away. Uh, did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. I can't click on the microwave. Uh, we can click on Amy, okay. that, the sign, the garbage, the shelf, and the garbage bin. Find Amy. I think that's a broom, but I can't click on that. Or are you talking about this? Yes, yeah, that. What's this? A rod? The tip is broken. It looks like to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. Some sort of stick. On closer inspection, could it also be a handle? Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skill has gotten a lot of use lately. I could cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I th aren't those usually called deep dishes? I've only had microwave lunches this week. The show blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Barry. Look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's not There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. 
Okay, so this is not just inventory, this is also your evidence. A large chunk of a bookcase is missing. Odd. Okay, Amy. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If you find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. I'll keep looking. Uh, let's talk first. Okay, that's just the same thing. Yeah. Start interrogation. Amy, yeah. we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accused me on my own birthday. How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here, just the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Microwave the chili dog, attempted to escape, or murdered a suspect. Well, all of these are technically right. She could have cooked herself something, but honestly, that's not the immediate concern. She could have attempted to escape, but didn't. Or she could have murdered one. Uh, she could have murdered Tails. No, it's the second. I gotta kill I don't think you were saying idly while Barry and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Barry, let me step you let me step you through this. First, to find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Well, there's only really two evidence. We got the stick and the crack on the shelf. Actually, kind of looking at this, doesn't this look like the handle of her hammer? Yep. Yeah. They said that it's like all there's no way it could be the crack. That could be, like, impact from her hammer, but... But hey, at least now we know Amy's hammer can apparently break. So it's gotta be the stick, right? Yep. Hmm. Not quite sure this will convince Amy. Let's give it another try. Oh! Oh! Oh, so it is the crack on the shelf. Okay. What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something. It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? Well, you see, I, uh... Well... Hmm... When I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, scratching bad necks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Is that a Sonic Dash reference? Yeah. Uh, sure. Whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. All right. Let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Oh, we got mini games. Okay, so it's kind of like uh like the special stages from uh from I guess Sonic uh 3D Blast and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 where you have to collect a certain number of rings uh otherwise you fail. Yeah, but that's more Is there any way you can actually get a bit closer to your phone 
to the mic? She's speaking on this through a phone, by the way. Yeah. Sure, the shelf fell, okay. but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I... I believe someone's responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Well, at this point, it's gotta be the stick. Yeah. What is that? A stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Now we need 25 reins. What? Well, if we look at it um, closely, you'll see. I think you've been twirling around that stick a bit too much. Barry, let's try to follow that train of thought again, shall we? I don't know why the springboards didn't get me there. Yeah, but I get a feeling they're going to get harder. You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage on the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say... A hammer? I... This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle of your to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh... Ah! It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out of my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was too... It was no big deal and tried to hide it. But I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little liar to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Okay, so it wasn't her main hammer. Her main hammer's probably tougher and heavier. Yeah, it is. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it, we're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Wait, is that? It can't be. Sonic. Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did this too! Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Eh. Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hands are on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh no. Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Barry. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave your care to you, Barry, my favorite employee. Sure you won't let me down on this on this last ride. <laughs> oh, we are so fired. <laughs> yeah. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. 
Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Okay, so this is already look the way Sonic kind of acted. This or this is either really good acting or Sonic literally was killed. The saloon car. Whoa, look at this place. Amy? Amy, where are you? Or, hey Tails, where are you? Um, You're really quiet. The bottom one? Yeah. Like you are gonna have to speak up at this point. Barry, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something for me? Um, yeah. Just a question, really? How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I take along with you, or it's my job to keep an eye on you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I take along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ah, uh, fair. As I said, the best detectives has sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lower card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. You varmints. What are y'all what are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy Mose threw and told me all about it. <clears throat> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Barry, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as I say. One man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Huh, seems like someone licked all the salt off them. What? Look! Tui! Or maybe they're just unsalted. Oh, that's odd. Why is that glass red? Barry, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Barry, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. I'm willing to bet that this lipstick cup is rouge. Add to your inventory. Used cups. Used cups seen in the saloon. Car's bar. One cup has lipstick mark on the rim. Oh, there's a wanted poster for Omo Chow. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. 
Poor Omo Chow. Hate to see him like this. What'd they do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. That is an actual game that is made by Sega. Yeah. What was that? I had to go with that. Do you think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches? Well, we know who did this then. Who could have done that? What are you two looking at me for? Smash Arcade is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. A Super Monkey Ball arcade machine completely smashed up. It's a shame to see Super Monkey Ball in this state. Uh, do, do we have anything else that we can click on? The robotic arms here are really helpful. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What? Interesting tech. Uh-oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can I microwave? Breathtaking views. This train passes by some incredible sights. Oh, I think I know this one. I recognize that chain. We're passing by where uh, Eggman chained up, um, what was it, Little Planet? From Sonic CD? You're really quiet, like you really need to speak up, like speak louder or get close to your phone. I'm just happy to be traveling at normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat or please don't beat me up. What? I still didn't catch that. This one? Yeah. This one. Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No. You bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I fight you. Sorry, Barry. I wish you luck. He's not actually going to fight me, right? Can I take your order? Hmm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Barry, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it! What now? Oh, we can do both. So we can see what this one has to say. I like your hat. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave. Knuckles, Barry and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. 
Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Barry, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Well, that would clearly be the game. The arcade machine? Ha! <laughs> what made you think I touched it? Okay, here we go. 30 rings this time. Barry's dream gear. I just now noticed that. That's a um that's a game gear. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Oh come on. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game, the arcade cabinet is covered in punches, or your hair was found at the scene. Well, we know the obvious answer. It was punched to death. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I need a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you... I'm on it. Barry, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. <gasps> oh, no. Uh... Now, Tails, get away from the arcade cam. Barry, try again. I have to get the Super Monkey Ball fixed. I don't think I can really go for those uh, side rings at the end. Those are screwing me over too much. I say that as I went for them anyway. <laughs> The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Okay, what does this tell us? Candy, 6,950 points. Bagel got 7,005. Oh, Knuckles is beaten, is just one point away from that high score. He can't seem to get it. Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Dude, it's right there! <laughs> Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now! Well, for starters, we're on a moving train. There's no one else in this train called Vector. <laughs> 35. Ah, oh, shit. Nope. Nope, perspective is gay me now. Yeah, no. I made too many mistakes on that one. You have nothing. Zilch, nada. Now leave you two. Quick, Barry, let's try this again. At least we get infinite retries. Ah, damn it. Nope. Hmm? 
Oh, just barely. Now, Barry, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Um... Oh yeah, that would be the cups, wouldn't it? That proves that Rouge was here, and the other two could be Knuckles and Vector. No! I thought it was strange there were more than one cup scene next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks, playing arcade. It's... I'm... It's not like... It's not... I wasn't... Ah, uh, don't... Don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out. But when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what is a cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. Well, I would say that's obvious. She's the only one that wears lipstick. It's inconsequential. Not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something, and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list. Doesn't make sense. Barry, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Vector, Nook, Toast, Apple, Bread, Ultim, Bagel, Candy. What's the odd one here? What? Candy. Hmm. No, not that one. I'm not a mind reader. Let me check the list again. Which? So it wasn't candy. That means it's one of these. Yeah. Ultim? Oh, right, I guess that kind of makes sense. Ultim is the only one that's not on there that's not Knuckles or Vector or a food. All the other names have a food theme, but this one... Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know, Barry, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The Ultimate Life Form. Oh, it's Shadow. There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after I lo after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No. I think she has some sort of key, too. That's right. The conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves.
More information than I expected to get he there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is, in the, is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Barry. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwave and chili dogs. Barry, coming. Ready to mosey down to the next car? No way, dang Navit, and you got it, partner. Onwards! 